Yo, what's up guys, it's Ryan, and today I'm going to do a quick video on how to reduce input latency um, from your interface into Ableton Live. Um, so by default, there's a little bit of latency, not enough to, to hear necessarily, but definitely enough to feel if you're playing like a guitar into Ableton. You'll feel it in your playing and it'll feel a little slow. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the preferences right here have everything set to how you would have it. Click on hardware setup and this thing will pop up. By default, it's up at 10 milliseconds. And if you hit OK, you're at 512 samples with 60 milliseconds of overall latency. But if you put it all the way down to one, that changes drastically to only 9.9 .9 milliseconds of latency which is a massive change. The only downside to this is it will affect your CPU performance. Um, on a track I was working on when I switched it, I was maxing out at about 24% CPU. And then as soon as I switched it, it was peaking like 36, 37. So it will hit your CPU a lot, but if you're recording instruments in, it is almost a must just to have the most accurate um, monitoring and like playback possible. So yeah, it's super simple. It just just decrease buffer length and you'll get it. So yeah, if you got any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, hope you learned something. Sorry for hitting the mic right there. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.